like one of my chickens that has has uh, brooded today. Uh, I give it uh, 10 eggs, but I've I've only gotten two chicks, so I've lost eight eggs. So uh, why should I lose eight eggs? Yet I can do this mechanically, and it's not affecting my chicken. Incubation day that will take us around 21 days for us to get chick. This I know you're wondering why I'm doing this and still I have chicken that can be able to brood this because all my chicken are a lot of breed that are giving me eggs. But now I've observed a very a bad behavior with my chicken. They are very good in giving me eggs, but and they are giving me very few chicken like one of my chicken that has uh, as a brooded today uh, i give it uh, 10 eggs but i've i've only gotten two chicks so i've lost eight eggs so uh, why should i lose eight eggs yet i can do this mechanically and it's not affecting my chicken so i'm just giving them a break so what i need for my chicken is them giving me eggs then uh, we brood or we produce the chicken mechanically because now i think i'm i'm going i'm going follow so this is the second batch uh, i brought in the first batch that to be uh, removed soon this is the second second batch that uh, i'm bringing and uh, in f maybe uh, when i'm picking out the f uh, the first batch i'll also be uh, bringing other chicken so i want to have that consistency of um, having different chicken at different stages because with that i'll be a very good chicken keeper so this one will take as 21 days just like a normal brooding for it to to produce i want to show you an example of a chick that has just brooded just you see it's even uh it's not even very dry this one has just brooded from the brooder a uh, few minutes ago this is how our chick looks like for those who may asking how the, the chicken looks like with his upper protruding tummy so this one it's kept here still under the the incubator it's kept here for for few hours and we will achieve such a, a chicken after a few hours then we start feeding it so this one is ready to start feeding you can see um, the protection because the, the the feathers have not yet grown and uh, the protection is well against the cold and this one is ready to feed but these, these are not mine so we've just started i wanted to to take you through the first phase of how we incubate our eggs how we prepare our eggs for purposes of brooding so we will be having each and every time a different cycle and um, for for those who if uh, i know so many of you may be having questions of of of, of brooding or how this one goes like um how this one is like in a brooder it's just the natural it's just a, an imitation of the natural brooding processes because the temperatures inside the brooder are the same like the ones that are given by the, uh, the the chicken only that the brooder is consistent and it doesn't take a break like our chicken do but now the brooder you need to you need um, to have uh, you can see that the brooding is going up and it's going to punish me oh, let me put this i gave you so many stories until the brood uh, the, the the brooding machine or the incubator started learning today because it keep on rotating uh, it, it keeps on rotating just the way the chicken keep rotating the eggs the same same uh, uh, the, the same thing happens to this so the component is the the fan that 
model it the, the temperatures here um, plus on the on the lower side there is water water basin bucket here that model it the humidity so everything is just the natural way of brooding processes only that now this one is mechanized so this is our first day we brooding and let's see what comes out of it in few days if this is the first time that you're watching me kindly subscribe to this youtube channel so that we can continue learning together bye